solving the mysteries of death. Muhammad ibn Qab al-Qurazi recounts, I had once met Omar ibn Abdulaziz in Medina. Back then he was a young man, quite handsome and wealthy. Years later, when he became Khalif, I went to see him. After getting permission to go in next to him, I made my way through. Seeing him, however, I was stunned, and I could not help but stare at him, astonished. Why are you looking at me like that, Muhammad? He asked. You have gone pale, your body looks worn out, you have lost most of your hair, and what remains of it is grey. I responded. Seeing you in this condition, Khalif, I could little hide my surprise. Who knows then how great your surprise would be, Muhammad? If you were to see me three days after I was placed in my grave, he said, ants will even take my eyes out of their sockets, and they will have dribbled into my cheeks, and my nose and mouth will have been filled with pus. It is really then that you will not recognize me and express surprise greater than you can imagine. Above everything else, each person must contemplate his end. How is he to breathe his last? What will he encounter in the grave? And what will his rank be in the hereafter? These are the greatest mysteries lying in front of human beings, grasping the secrets of the journey from the crib to the coffin, and the wisdom underlying existence in this world and subsequent passage to the hereafter. Each of us must make every effort in life to solve this riddle and thereby achieve eternal bliss. One must first of all contemplate mortality. For it is an indisputable fact that all that is on the earth will perish. There will come a day with no tomorrow, a day unknown to all of us, Allah glory be unto him states, and the agony of death will come in truth. That is what you were trying to escape, and the trumpet shall be blown. That is the day of the threatening. Everyone enters this life through one door, the mother's womb, and lives out this life, a steeplechase that is run in a flurry of either spiritual or egotistical feelings. After passing through this narrow corridor, through the gate of the grave, each person finally makes their passage to the life of eternity. The world, like a house with two doors, has been filled with and emptied of countless human beings from the time of Adam, peace be upon him, until today. Where are they now? Where will be a short while later unknown, but one thing is for certain, death has knocked on the doors of both the oppressors and the oppressed, sinners and saints, and now they stand waiting for the beginning of eternal life, judgment day. Just to think that the ground which we walk on is filled with the bodies of billions of deceased human beings to have lived until now, 